Okay, you are back online, please. Quiet. So those of you at home, can you hear and see me now? Please just type in yes if you can hear and see me. Okay, good. So like we are saying, wood has been in existence for thousands of years ago. And hardly can you look around without seeing anything made out of wood. Where is that apple, Larry? Okay, so please. Just look around and tell me anything you can see that's made from wood. Yes. Okay. Yes. What? God. Yes. Frame of the air conditioner. Very good. So at least we can mention about three things that are made from wood here. Yes. That is. The, the, you don't know the name. It has a name. Do you want to know the name? The call is Ketin. 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 Yes. The wood surrounding the interior of your house. Ketin. That's the name. All right. Please. Quiet. Quiet. Yeah. No book. Yes. It's made from wood. So, as you can see, there's hardly you looking around that you don't see things, so many of them that are made from wood. Now, having gone past those early stage, with technology, there are so many things which we can use wood for. Starting from your house to your uh, school, so many places on the road, cars, boats, and so many things, they are made from wood. And wood, as a material can be mixed with other material to make other things. Like for example, if you see, there are knives that the handle is made from wood. Chairs made from metal and wood. Chairs made from plastic and wood. And so many things. So, wood is very, very useful. So now, wood. Where do we get wood from? From trees. From forest. From timber. But ultimately, we get wood from the forest. After growing wood, it attains a certain stage where we can harvest it. By the time it's big enough and useful enough, enough it is. then we cut it. With what? We cut it with our teeth. With chainsaw. Very good. We cut it with chainsaw. Then there is this kind of soil. Okay, do not delay. Who can tell us? Absorb. No. Two people operate the saw. Yes. What's the name? Eh? No. 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 I'm giving you as an assignment. Can find out. So now, after felling of the tree, do not stain the table with God. Give me, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. So after growing, then it at a certain stage you come from the forest. Where do you take it to from the forest? Where do you take the wood to? Sunday. Why? By the time you get to the summit, what do you do with the wood? You process it very good. So how do you process the wood? You cut it and dry, just like that. What are the modes? What are the modes? Plain salt or potassium methods? Very good. Those are the two ways of processing wood. You either cut in a plain saw manner or cut a saw manner. So after cutting the wood, then what next? 
You season. You season. So how do you season wood? Two types. Two types. What are the types? Tell me. Ah, no, 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 no. Kill seasoning. No. No. Air drying method. Kill drying and air drying method. And look and tell us what a kill method entails. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to rouse myself. You don't just raise up your hand. Yes. Ara. Which one are you defining for us? Kill. Spell the kill, please. Yeah, so explain to us. Just put it in the clean to dry it. Is that all? Who else can explain to us? Yes. Please listen to him. Very good. Okay. Then the what? He, he got it, but then there is still some aspect he didn't get. Who else? Oh, you have to go. Hello. Kill method. Explain to us. Okay, well, because of our time, kill method is um, drying of wood in a machine way. Kill itself is like an oak in which you stack the wood there, you close it, after which you turn up the temperature to a desired level. After which some time, it actually extracts the moisture from the wood, thereby making it dry. Then air drying method is a method by which you stack the wood in an open shed and you allow air, free and open air, to dry it. And the, the, the disadvantage of this method is that it takes time, it's slow. It takes time more than the kill method. The kill method dries immediately, under certain hours, it's okay. But then air drying takes time because we allow it to dry naturally. So after drying, then what do we do? What? You season. How do you season? You put maggi, salt, curry, and pepper. Yes. How do you season? Tell me, how do you season? Hey, let's listen to her. How do you season? You dry it. You put pepper. So, yeah, tell us, how do you season? Huh? You dry. Okay. Now, after that, what's next? Pack it into You check it for any defect. What are the defects we are talking about? No, no, no. Before you go to individual defects, they are, it, the defects are being categorized into two. And what are they? You are reading from the text, you close that text. No. They are categorized into two. Two different types of defects. What are they? One, artificial. Second one, natural. Artificial is when you start the wood. When you start the wood in a manner that's not proper, then the wood can warp. Warp. I mean, w a r p. It can warp. It can twist. It can bend. That's why you didn't stack it properly. But then the natural uh, defect is when it is being attacked by termites. And why do termites attack? Close that. Thing. Why do termites attack? If you know it's raised up your why do why do termites attack? Yes. You know, Trey. Why do some some might attack you? Oh. We've gone through this before. I didn't expect you to be. Some might do attack wood 
in order to eat the glucose inside the wood. Inside the wood. Ordinarily, normal wood is always wet and heavy. So when it's wet and heavy, farmers do attack the wood because they tend to eat the, uh, the glucose inside the wood. So by the time they are trying to eat up the, uh, the, the, the glucose in the wood, they eat up the wood, thereby destroying the wood and making it to be useless. So those are two ways, natural and artificial, okay? Now, on the slide, you can see the picture of trees in the forest. Okay, Fawaz, I can see your answer. Very good, correct? Then, this is when we are done, you ask your question. This is the longitudinal section to a wood. That means average wood, when you cut it, average wood, when you cut it, this is what you see in the middle. This is how you label the cross section of a wood. Cross section means when you cut the wood, this is what you see inside. You see properly. So we start from the outer back. The outer back is the cover of the wood from outside. Then we have the inner back. Then we have the cambium layer. We have sap wood, medulla rays, heart wood, and feet. The center of the wood is called the feet. That is the center of it. So this is a typical picture of a cross section of a normal wood. Do you all understand? Do you all understand? Can we move on? Yes, those of you online at home, do you understand? Just type in yes if you, are, if you understand. Gideon, do you understand? Awad, do you understand? Fawaz, do you understand? Very good. Let's move on. So now we talk about felling of trees. These are the machines that we use to fell trees. The most, the, the fastest one is the chainsaw. It cuts across easily. But then some loggers may not be able to afford the cost of the chainsaw. So they tend to use the axe. They use axe to cut down the wood gradually. And the mattock is being used to uproot the wood, the root of the wood. That is, the mattock is being used to uproot it. Now, processing of timber, like I discussed, they are being converted. It must be processed after felling. The branches of the trees are removed to leave a clean trunk. It is then cross-cut to table log legs. The logs are then loaded up and taken to the saw mill. Conversion of wood. Like as we have discussed, there are two ways. Number one is what? Place on method. Number two is what? What? You forgot. Yes. Favor. Second way. Second method of cutting wood. Yes. Farida. We discuss it just now, yes. Quarter saw method, plain saw and quarter saw method. You guys are thinking of lunch already. If you are not careful, we may not leave this place until one. Yes, I wish I delay and detain you here. Because this is what I taught you just now. Plain saw and quarter saw method. Yet I ask and you don't know. So if you are asking the exam, you will, that's how you just tell me about it. So now, conversion of wood, A, plain saw and quarter saw method. Now, these are the advantages and disadvantages. The advantages is low cost at first, maximum width of plant obtained from log, little wasted, it reveals active grain, active grain pattern, especially in structure. The disadvantage is it's not suitable for structural timber. With this method, copying caused by tangential shrinkage is a problem. Copying is the warping of 
plant away from the heart of the tree. I told you about warping the other time. So it's called warping. The quarter saw method is leave the inner ring of the converted timber meeting the space of the board at the cancellation. So this is the picture of quarter saw method. The former one is plain saw method. This one is plain saw, while this is quarter saw method. This is the advantage of quarter saw method. An attractive grain pattern is produced. Boards are more stable and shrink less. Boards we are more evenly important for flooring. The disadvantage is it is expensive. As, as the log has to be first quartered, then thrown for every cut. Number two is because the log is quartered, then cut again, narrow boards are produced. That is the disadvantage. This one is not for one body. It's another mode of cutting. It is called tangential sewing. Tangential sewing. As the name implies, as the name implies, the cut is made at a tangent to the annual ring of the log. It must be turned at 90 and 90 degrees after each cut. These are the advantages and disadvantages of tangential sewing. It produces board with flame figure. Tangential board has strong board. It is used for beams and joists. When uh, we move on, we shall discuss beams and joists. Joists. Joists are what we use as flooring in wooden houses. Joists. Their method of building wooden houses is a type of flooring. When we get there, I will explain. These boards can take a nail without splitting because of the position of their annual ring. There are some nails, there are some wood. When you put nail and you hit with hammer, the wood tends to split into two, thereby destroying the wood. But with this method, the wood do not split. As you can see, that is the drawing, that's the diagram of splitting of wood. You can see the other one. They put, the, there are two nails attached to it. It's not splitting. Then the other one has only one day and it's splitting. The disadvantage is that it is prone to shrinkage or copping. Then it is expensive as the log is done 90 degrees for each cutting. Seasoning of timber, like, I've, like we've discussed, it means drying of plant or wood. If the wood is not seasoned, it will shrink later on as it dries. So they have to prevent warping and rotting. And there are two ways, air or natural dye, kill or artificial dye. The first diagram is about the air dye. You can see how the wood is being staked. It is staked in a way, that, in such a manner that plants, little plants, are used to wedge each wood in the middle so that the wood do not rest on the other one. So by this method, you are sure of having a perfect straight wood. Told me you are sleeping. So by this method, you are sure of having a very straight pattern wood. Then the kiln, which is artificial dry method. As you can see the machine there, that's the machine. You stack, in the, you stack it in there, you close it, and you put it on. It works as an oven and it actually dries it for. This kiln machine, we have discussed it in the making of uh, ceramics too. It's also this type of machine that is being used to dry up ceramics. That's it, stand up. So let's move on. This is the calculation of moisture content. If you want to calculate moisture content of wood, that a sample of wood weighs 100 kilograms when wet, and it weighs 80 kilograms when dry. Calculate the percentage of the moisture. This formula you use for calculating moisture content of wood. So, these are your assignments. Yes. It's what? Yes, it weighs more. Quiet. 
Which of you want to use toilet session? I have to go Which one? The English one. So this is your assignment. What? This is your assignment. Number one is define quiet, please. Number one is define felling of trees. Number two is define processing of wood. Number three is conversion of wood. Number four, seasoning of wood. Five, list the types of conversion of wood, then seasoning of wood. Number six is calculation of wood samples. You calculate, for, you calculate the waste of one tenth of wood. No, wait, I want you to get this calculation of moisture first because there's an assignment on it. So you need to get to write this one down so that you're able to answer the question of the calculation of moisture. Hey, quiet, please. You are disturbing uh, students at home. Pawida. So are you done? Those of you at home, please copy this calculation of menstrual content. It's very, very important. Oh, me, have you copied this? Oh, you snapped. No problem. But make sure it's not very well so that I don't make mistakes. Of course, yes, it's on YouTube. So no, move on, move on. Move on, but then message for us. But can you please stop? Quiet, please. I don't know. We want. Baba, 
Are you done with the assignment? Our time is fast and so you need to be very fast. So, are you done? What's no start? So the notes. Um, I will just go back to the first page then. It's on YouTube. Go there and follow. And then buy more data. You are a big boy. You are a big boy. You, have to, you can buy data. Data are very cheap now. You can get 500. 500 MD for just 100 bucks. They change your next one. So do you go to the first slide? Do you go to the first slide? Do you go to the first slide now? So the topic is material and processing, wood. Then growth of timber. Please, quiet. Growth of timber. Then picture of forest in the tree, uh, trees in the forest. Then longitudinal section of wood. The machines and materials that we need to cut trees. Processing of timber. Conversion of wood or log or timber. This is the feature of how we convert using place or method. This is another feature. The advantages and disadvantages of plain or method. Then the next one is quarter saw method. The definition picture of water soil method, advantages and disadvantages of water soil method, and the picture. This is the third mode of cutting wood, but it's not common because it's expensive. Then the advantages of and disadvantages of and disadvantages of tangential sawing. Seasoning of timber. Seasoning of timber. Then calculation on moisture of moisture content. Then your assignment. Now, let me just uh, quickly discuss one thing with you. Also, by the time you your timber, your wood is ready and you want to use it, there is still something you need to do. No exception, but if you make your that is the material which you want to use the wood for to make it to last more, and that is the treatment of wood. You can treat your wood. You can treat your wood to make it last longer by applying chemical. Number one, you can apply gamma 20 or creosote. Gamma 20 or creosote. Creosote, C R E O S O T E, creosote or gamma 20. You apply it on the wood, it actually kills termites in the wood and any other insect that's present inside it. 
and equally preserves the wood. That is the work of those treatments. Do you understand? Okay? So, any questions, please? Our time is fast for any questions. Yes? Is it not for river? No, it's for preservation of wood. It's a preservative. But no, 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 no. What happened is that what we describe is for preservation of wood. But some some uh, some fish farmer they use it to kill fish. But it's it's very very bad and it's, it's wrong and it's even not hygienic and dangerous for human consumption. It's as if you yourself you are consuming that kind of thing. So it is dangerous. So. It's, uh, it's like it's a form of treatment for wood, gamalitrexy or creosol. You apply it or spray it, you can apply it with brush or spray it with wood, uh, with a uh, spray machine. Yes. You said? No, 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 that is the name. Just 20. There is no gamali one, gamali two, gamali three. The name given by the manufacturer is Gamale 20. Any questions? Any further questions, please? Tamara, you have to see. I don't want both of you to sit together. It's okay. I don't want you to get Yes, those of you online at home, any questions, please? If you have questions, please type it in and let me see it. Gideon, do you have any questions? Fawaz, do you have any questions? Okay, Fawaz. Gideon, any questions? Good. So, which means we understand the topic perfectly, right? Yes. So, we can call it a day here. All right, thanks for coming to class today. Have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.